Hi everyone, uh, this is Maddie and I'm a Physical Literacy Coach for Ulster GAA. Um, what we have planned for the next couple of weeks is a series of videos that will focus in on key stage one children. So our first three sessions will look at primary one and primary two and in the last two we'll focus on primary three and four. So in our first session we'll be focusing on um, our rolling and pick up technique. Now, Myself and three other coaches will take us through um, today's lesson, but for myself, I am going to concentrate on our warm-up activity for the next couple of minutes. Okay, so um, I want you to copy my actions and I want you to visualize or imagine that you're in a Amazon jungle. Okay, so um, I'm going to take us through um, different things that you will see within our jungle. All right, so... Um, what we see here is a selection of items in the floor. So we have bibs, we've got cones, chairs, um, bottles, um, skipping rope, anything that you can find um, around the garden or in the house that you're able to set on the floor and just have them spread out. Okay, so uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to imagine that you're running through the jungle and um, there's loads of trees and branches uh, that are up and around the grass and you have to try and work your way through them without um, banging into them, okay? So as we move around, try and not hit the, the trees or the branches as we're running through all the areas of the jungle. Okay, again, keeping your feet out wide. Try and duck under the branches if you can. Then you're going to try and jump over some logs. Again, ducking down nice and low. Try and lift up the branches we go across. And just keep ourselves moving. Again, let's duck under. Okay, let's jump over a tree. And we keep ourselves moving. Again, duck. Come and pass. Try not to hit into any of your equipment that is uh, on the floor and we come back to center okay so our next thing then that we want you to imagine is you're going to imagine that you're a frog and you're going to be bouncing around the jungle okay so how we adopt our frog position have your feet out wide with your uh, thumbs pointed together you're going to get your hands on the floor and then you're just going to be hopping around the equipment that we have on the ground trying to keep yourselves really quiet so that no other animals get this to hear you okay so hopping around trying getting your hands to touch the floor do not touch any of the items on the floor and relax Okay, our next animal in the jungle that we're going to um, recreate is our bear, okay? So what I want you to do this time, I want you to get in all fours. Don't allow your knees to be on the ground. And I want you to crawl through all the different items that you have on the ground. Okay, try and move through them. Don't touch any of the items and well done okay and our final movement before we pass it on to our coach is you're going to imagine that you're getting chased by a wild tiger so as you run through all the different uh, pieces of equipment on the floor you want to get as fast as we can don't knock into any of them and try and get away from the tiger okay so three two one go Try and get away from them, getting through the cones, getting through your bottles, don't let the lion chase you, okay, he's not going to catch you, keep moving, and relax, well done, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hand it over towards Ronan, and what we'll need for this is our ball, okay, and Ronan's going to take us through 
our rolling and pickup technique. Okay, over to you, Ronan. Cheers, Matty. Um, okay, boys and girls, so what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on rolling, okay? So, obviously, the most important thing we're going to try and do is try and get cones. If you don't have any cones, just use any items you've got around the house, okay? So, um, for this week, game that we've got, I just use a water bottle, um, a couple of tins that I have in the house, and also just a shoe as well, okay? So, you can use up rolled up socks, whatever you just to hit the obstacles, alright? So, I'm going to try it, um, first of all, with the cones. The name of the game is just bingo, okay? So what I'm going to do is try and roll the ball from my start, starting point and try and knock the four cones over. Once I hit each cone, I'll just move it out of the way and then once I've hit all four cones, I'll shout bingo, okay? So, first thing and most important, I want to keep my eye on the ball at all times. So whenever you see me down, I'm going to get down nice and low and I'm going to try and roll the ball, okay? So keep a focus on the ball at all stages, okay? So we're going to start down nice and low and then roll the ball. time but I'm just gonna go from the same starting point to try and challenge himself okay so I'm gonna go for the blue this time rather than down and I missed it okay so I'm gonna go again if I can go closer I'm gonna try and get it from the start okay so one more time from the starting point I think I clipped it so I say bingo okay so what we're gonna do boys and girls then that's the first game I want you to play the next game what we're gonna do is just a wee game of skittles, okay? So again with your obstacles, what I want you to do is just put them up in any three ways you want. Or if you've got more obstacles, you can put them up in fours and fives. For this wee game again, just like the cones, what I want you to do is stand back a wee bit further and try and hit the cones. If you can get them and you're comfortable with them, take a couple of steps back each time, okay? So for the first one I'm just going to try and hit them, put you three goals and see how many you can get these time. Okay, so again, nice and low, focus on rolling, third one knocked over. Okay, so we'll move it out of the way, go one more time, from the same starting point, and there's all three. Good, okay. So boys and girls, that's the two games. First one's bingo, use your cones or whatever obstacles you've got. And then the next one is just skills. Okay, so challenge yourself each time to beat yourself. I'm now going to pass you over to Michaela, who's going to continue on. All right, there you go, Michaela. All right, thanks, Ronan. Okay, so me and Sam is going to continue on from Ronan. Ronan did the rolling part, so he did the sending bit of the ball. So me and Sam is going to take over and do the receiving part of the ball. So Sam is going to have the ball. We're going to do the scoop pickup. All right, so Sam is going to have to just face the wall here. We're going to break down the skill, so Senan is going to throw the ball against the wall and I'm going to talk through what he should be doing. So, he's going to throw the ball against the wall and keep his eyes on the ball, scooping it up into his chest. Alright, so he's watching the ball each time. That's it. He's using his two hands and he's scooping the ball nice and tight into his chest so nobody else can get it. Again. Good. Alright, and his feet is our shoulder width apart. So at home you can challenge yourself. He's going to get 30 seconds. I want to see how many passes he can get against the wall and scoop it up. So each point he gets is for scooping the ball and into his chest. All right, Santa, so we have 30 seconds. Get ready. Go. So scooping it up. Nice and over the ground. Okay, so if you're at home and you haven't got a ball or haven't got a ball, 
to throw or kick the ball against. All right, Sam is going to show you a wee way of doing it. So he's just going to stand here. He's going to roll the ball nice and easy along the ground, and he's going to have to try and get himself around to the other side of the ball and scoop it up. All right, there you go. sessions there throughout the, the main session so just for the cool line today all we're going to do is we're just going to touch your shoulders put your hands on your shoulders and we're just reaching up so we reach up we breathe in we reach back down we breathe out so So just to recap, Maddie took us through the warm-up to start off with and Maddie went through the jungle, these different household objects to put out in the garden where he jumped over them um, and he crawled around them using the frog jumps and the bear crawls. He moved about nice and high, nice and low as well, okay, so he went through all the different levels, different speeds, fast and slow and he got the whole body warmed up and well stretched out then for the main activity. Ronan then took us on to the game of bingo. Okay, so Ronan worked on setting the ball. When he was setting the ball, he had his knee bent. 
He was only in one arm. So the bingo again, he had Crohn's lined out. Again, using anything in the house, using pins, um, jumpers, rolled up socks. Rolling the ball when he hit the first object, got the ball, come back, he tried to hit the second object. Challenged himself by moving back each time. Again, it was too hard. He could move a bit closer um, and get nice and close to the object. So after the game of bingo, we played a game of Skittles again, using tins, um, bottles, empty jars, setting it up, rolling the ball and trying to hit an object each time. Okay, again, if you hit the object, give yourself a point, give yourself a target system. And again, moving back or moving closer to make it um, harder and easier for yourself. So after Ronan then we went on to Michaela and Sanon. Again, Sanon used the wall to start off with. He was working on receiving the ball. So Ronan worked on sending it and Sanon worked on receiving it. Again, you don't need a wall for the, the game Sanon did play. You can use it um, without a wall. You can do it in the garden. You can do it outside of your house. Uh, you can roll it and run around quickly, receive it on the other side. Um, one of the main, or some of the main points that Sam had done whenever he was flipping the ball, he kept his feet out nice and wide, knees bent, two hands underneath the ball, and then scooped it up nice and tight into his chest. Okay, so after um, after Sam was doing the scoop and roll, he then played the game goals, goals, goals. And again, using anything you need, you can use pots, um, different things in the garden, balls, bibs, cones, jumpers, um, setting up different parts for yourself, throwing the ball through it. Scooping up the other side, going around all the different goals each time. Okay, Michaela then made that harder by pushing them closer together so you have a smaller area to work with. Okay, all these games, again, you can do them with brothers and sisters at home or equally they work well playing it with yourself too. Okay, you don't need a big area for the games. Again, you need to do them even inside if the weather's bad. Okay, it's handy setting up the skittles, games like that. Then for outside, again, you don't need a big area to do it outside. You can do the goals, goals, goals games as long as you're practicing each time trying to get it through the target. Okay, so as I say, that's our first session done for the P1s and P2s. We worked on the scooping, picking it up. So hopefully, boys and girls, you can practice this over the next few days and let us know how you get on.